So, I was messing around at the Freedom Base, as I usually do, and I remembered that their armory is guarded by this piece of garbage guy here, and I decided there's gotta be a good way to get past him without killing him or joining Freedom. And I remembered that, since your character has little to no weight behind them, every other stalker can push you around. But, if you have something that you are pushing them with, a tool, whether it be some, even a, even a pistol, if you throw a pistol at them just enough, it moves them ever so slightly. And I thought, perhaps I could use something to lever him out of the way so I could get past him. But I realized that once I finally got the table over there that it was too small. It fell within his circle of influence of how big his character model actually is, and therefore I could no longer manipulate it or even try to move him with it anymore. On a side note, I did try a barrel to see if I could move a person with it, but it seems that the NPCs are heavier than the barrel is, therefore that they cannot be moved by it, despite the fact that it seems large enough that you'd be able to do so. So with the easier options ruled out, I had to settle for a box, seeing as it was big enough and heavy enough to easily move NPCs. But I had just about as much success as anyone does when trying to push a box upstairs without lifting it. At least this can serve as a testament to the somewhat realistic physics engine that they have installed in Stalker. This whole process took me around 7 to 8 minutes, and eventually the physics engine decided to not work and I got it to sit on the stairs at a rather odd angle. And now with the box up the stairs and the minor celebration out of the way, we can finally get into the armory. Now, in order to actually move NPCs with boxes, however, you do need to get a running start, so it's not going to work in confined situations, but here we were able to push him aside just enough to make sure that we could finally get in there. Now, laden with loot, you can get the hell out of there, but another problem arises if you've done what I've done here and not pushed your box back far enough. The NPC will try to move back to his previous position and therefore block all access to the box entirely. This leaves you with an ultimatum, either stay back there forever or kill the man in front of you, which sort of defeats the purpose of the original idea, but if you do it quietly, you can still get through there and not raise any suspicion. And on another related note, you can use the same exact tactic to get past Skinflint to steal the grenades that are sitting next to him. And, on the plus side, he doesn't move back to his original position, so you never have to worry about killing him to get back through. I hope you found this informative, and I hope to see you next time.